Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. Hey, baby, how you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed is how I'm doing. It is a Monday, and it is a movie star Monday. We have Erica Vitrini joining us. We're going to talk about uh, some movies that she's been in. She was on the first season of The Apprentice as well, for people who watch The Apprentice. And then she was on the Tony Danza show, many other fun things. And we're going to be talking to her today about back-to-school things, things that you can do for your kids, because she does a lot of like health programs now. So really kind of a neat lady, and I'm excited to chat with her. She's coming up again, Erica Vitrini, for our Movie Star Monday got a quote for today too you ready for that always lord chesterfield said know the true value of time snatch seize and enjoy every moment of it i like that (laughs) did you notice that nice pause that i put in there i did that was was a moment of time that will never get back (laughs) thanks for listening to the john and heidi show Make plans to join us for the second annual 80s in the Sand. My wife Heidi and I went last year. It was so much fun. And guess who's going to be there this year? It's Brett Michaels. Hello, everybody. It's Brett Michaels. I will see you in 80s in the Sand, Tuesday, November 6th, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. I promise you, this is going to be the ultimate concert, party, best night ever. Let's rock on, my friends. Get your tickets now at 80sinthesand.com. Over 90% of the tickets are sold. Don't wait. 80sinthesand.com. John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Monday, the 17th day of September. It is National Apple Dumpling Day. Mmm, yummy. It's also, have you ever had an apple dumpling? Do you know what that even is? I don't know. Oh, it's, I've, I, I, if it's what I'm thinking it is, it's good. National Constitution and Citizenship Day, and it is National Monte Cristo Day. Yum. Have you ever had a Monte Cristo? I have. I, I really like it. You know, I'd never had that I, until I a few years ago. I did have one here about six months ago, and it's now it's a, a little, little too sweet yeah, for me. Too much, yeah. But I it's good stuff. I used to love them. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. John and Heidi. If you want to grow your business, you can either add more customers or sell more stuff to your current customers. Or a combination of both, but there's no other way to grow your business. Just those two. Add more customers or sell more stuff to your current customers. And if you already have a relationship with your customers and you have their email address, you can reach out to them with special offers to easily grow sales. And you'll make your customers even happier. Let the experts at Constant Contact help. Get a free trial now. Sign up at BetterResultsAdvertising.com. That's Better Results advertising.com John and Heidi. Coming up, we've got your brain on drugs, but first, is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? Heidi is in the spotlight right now. She's got a guess. You got to tell me. The Cliffs in Grayford, Texas. The Cliffs. Oh, is that boy. a golf course or is that a rehab center? The Cliffs. I'm going to say golf course. And you are correct. I don't know if people would want to go to a bad idea to put depressed people at yeah. a place called the cliffs. Well, they're not necessarily depressed, but they're people who, you know, are trying to get some help with things. You don't want them to be in the cliffs. No. <laughs> you want them to be at a golf course on, having on fun. On flat level yeah, land. Yeah. We've got your brain on drugs coming right up. John and Heidi. This time of year, there are many parties, weddings, cookouts, and other events that often include alcohol. If you're drinking, be sure to have a designated driver. If you or someone you know has a problem with drugs or alcohol, there is help. The Addiction Hope and Helpline wants to help. If you feel like it's time to finally get the help you need, there's a toll-free number you can call, 1-800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline, 1-800-438-0380, 1-800-438-0380. John and Heidi. And this is your brain on drugs. Police say a man was injured after a gun went off while he was fleeing from officers. Uh, this happened in, where did this happen? In Delaware County. I'm looking for a state. But anyway, uh, police say they pulled over a white Lincoln sedan for an, an uh, expired inspection. So they had like expired plates expired or plates, something. probably. After approaching, they smelled some marijuana. They told both people inside to provide some ID. That is when one of the men, 20-year-old Keon Williams, fled the scene on foot. While they were in pursuit of Mr. Williams, he pulled out a semi-automatic firearm from his waistband, causing it to fire. The bullet hit him in the lower part of his body. The lower part? A leg? A foot? Where, right, where, what is the what lower part of his body? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Anyway, he got to go to the hospital for all that fun stuff. He was in possession of drugs and drug paraphernalia and more than $2,300 in cash. So it wow. didn't go well. We'll just no. put it that way. 
That is what happens, though, when your brain is on drugs. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, what is a beard? That is the answer. Or is that the question? At the Jeopardy set. Have you noticed Alex Trebek's new beard, Heidi? No. Heidi doesn't I don't watch wa- that. When have we watched? We, we have, but you haven't seen it on Facebook. You haven't seen anywhere. People talking about it all over. No. It's the talk at Tinseltown, Heidi. <laughs> or wherever they film that show. Is that in Hollywood? I it's have probably no there. idea. I really don't care. Alex Trebek debuted a new beard for this new season of Jeopardy. And it's got the entire showbiz world talking about his beard oh that's fantastic yeah, fascinating stuff there is nothing going on well we're talking about that. <laughs> clearly if this, is our, if this is our top story <laughs> oh, no, no, we got one more sources at cbs say that 60 minutes producer jeff fager did not show up for work this week after a seventh woman accused him of sexual misconduct seven people step forward now and say yeah he's a he's a bad guy so he just didn't come to work he's like i'm gonna just sit this one out this has been big screen little screen brought to you by channel surfer tv.com Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 800-719-5601. 800-719-5601. That's 800-719-5601. Now your scoop of the day, a social life survey found that the majority of today's teenagers would rather get a text than talk on a phone. I'm still, I'm one of those people and Um, I'm not a teenager. Here's my question. Did you have to do a survey to find that out? Yeah. To find out that kids would rather send you a text than talk on the phone? We'll be sitting at the dinner table and my daughter will send me a text. Can you pass me the... (laughs) (laughs) It's not quite that bad. Okay, it's not quite that bad. But But I'm the same way. I would much rather text than talk. Uh, As a matter of fact, somebody will send me a text, I will call them back. And they're like, what What are you doing? You're breaking... text me. You're breaking all the rules, man. (laughs) Sometimes I have to just fib and say I'm driving. I'm I'm driving down the road. (laughs) (laughs) No, you're not. I can see you sitting in your office. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't want to text yet. Dinners, uh, um, dinners, no, let's read that the right way. Diners <laughs> at a Mexican restaurant in Los Angeles were shocked when a woman fell through the ceiling and Whoa. landed on the floor. So the place is called Sobroso Mexican Grill. Luckily, everybody was able to get out of the way, so nobody was hurt. But can you imagine sitting there just eating, and then all of a sudden you hear some noise in the ceiling, and somebody falls out of it? It's a very authentic Mexican restaurant. Their ceiling is made of the piñata that people fall out of. <laughs> I have no idea. That is just a crazy, I crazy hope they didn't thing. I beat her with a stick. No, I don't think so. But uh, it, it sounds like she was okay. So that's that's good. I've got a link to the story if you want to read you know, all the details in there. Have you ever heard of the Miss Subway beauty pageant? No. <laughs> it is coming that's back. That's not a thing, it? Is is it? Too. it It happened for many years in New York City, but they quit doing it in 1976. So now... The Miss Subway's beauty pageant is coming back for the first time since 1976. So the subway, like the underground train subway, or subway like the restaurant subway? In 1976. I don't think that restaurant even existed yet. So I'm sure it's the subway underground train. But what what does that entail? The Miss Subway. I've got a link. I might have to. This this I would watch if it was televised. Because can you imagine the kinds of contestants? (laughs) Well, I don't know. And here's the thing. If you ride the subway, that's awesome. There's nothing against that. I just think that's... uh, I I don't know why they need a pageant. (laughs) I mean... They don't, we don't have an Amtrak pageant. We don't have an American Airlines pageant. I mean, we don't have any of those. Do you get a free subway uh, Maybe that's what it is. Hey, year, if the winner maybe. of the pageant gets to ride for free for a year, let's do this. <laughs> hey, Vladimir Putin is in the news. Uh, last week, he met with China's president, and he cooked him pancakes. What? <laughs> I don't know why. And then the two Everybody did, likes pancakes. No, it gets better. Then the two did vodka shots. It was at a financial summit in Russia. It's like, pancakes hey, welcome welcome to Russia. Here, let's have some pancakes. Uh, of course you're going to eat them. Why would you well, not yeah. eat them? Pancakes I wonder if his pancakes were good. I like pancakes. I'm sure they were good. They're not hard to make. No. So Vladimir Putin cooked up some pancakes and then did some vodka shots with the president of China. So Maybe go. they don't have pancakes in China. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But I know that when my friend from England is here, Georgina, every time she's here, she wants to go somewhere and have pancakes. So they must not they be. They don't have pancakes in England? 
she always wants pancakes well, when she's there here. You go. Or maybe she just really likes pancakes. No, she says I haven't had these <laughs> since the last time I was here. What? So, yeah. It's not hard to make. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. John and Heidi. If you want to grow your business, you can either add more customers or sell more stuff to your current customers. Or a combination of both, but there's no other way to grow your business. Just those two. Add more customers or sell more stuff to your current customers. And if you already have a relationship with your customers and you have their email address, you can reach out to them with special offers to easily grow sales. And you'll make your customers even happier. Let the experts at Constant Contact help. Get a free trial now. Sign up at BetterResultsAdvertising.com. That's Better Results advertising.com John and Heidi Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show. Today is a movie star Monday. We have Erica Vitrini. She's been featured in a couple of different films, but a ton of television stuff. And she's even on a program that maybe you even watch. It's a really cool program on Lifetime called Access Health. And today, in addition to talking about her career, she's going to give us some tips on how to get those kids back to school the right way. And I know most kids are probably back to school now, but the good news is she's got tips on how to maybe smooth that out and make that transition go really, really well now. Now, before we get started, Erica, I was just looking here. I remember watching you on the very first season of The Apprentice, season one, and that was where you kind of got your big start, isn't it? It is. I completely forgot. I was just looking at some info, snooping some info on you here, and I saw that. I was like, you know what? That's right. That's where I remember her from. So that that was your first big debut. Uh, When was it? That was a long time ago, wasn't it? I was 26 when I did that show Holy cow. on the Donald Trump. Yeah, and now I am 42. Well, that, that is That was awesome. a while ago. <laughs> and then you had the chance to do the Tony Danza show, which is really cool. And then you've been featured in movies. You've been featured on a lot of television yeah. programs. So congratulations on all that success. And what was it like Thanks. doing The Apprentice when you did it? It was the first season. Yeah, first season of The Apprentice. We, we didn't know what we were getting into. I mean, all of us were truly in business. I was um, a marketing manager at Estee Lauder. I had never even watched really much reality shows before being on a reality show. And at that point, we were on right after Friends when it was first run. So there were a lot of eyes on us. So about 30, I think 35 million people tuned into the very first episode. So it was, in, it was insane. Talk about a springboard for a career. That certainly didn't yeah. hurt things. And like I said, then from there, you went on to do the Tony Danza show. What, what was it like working with Tony Danza? He seems like a nice guy. I love it. Paisano. That's what we say. We call our Italian friends Paisano. Yeah, he was great. I mean, it was so much fun. It was, again, an, uh, my first live venture. It was my very first moment on TV, and I got to do so many things. He sent me into the field. I got to race with Dale Earnhardt Jr., and of course, I've got to develop quite a friendship with him as well. So it was wonderful. I have no complaints. That is fantastic. Now let's talk about your new show on Lifetime, Access Health. And with that, you get to do all kinds of really cool stuff. And today, you're actually even going to share some tips on how to help our kids get back to school the right way. What are some of those tips? You know, John, I think it's so hectic and crazy this time of year, and it's really hard to get over, really easy to get overwhelmed. So I've definitely partnered with some wonderful brands to offer some really good um, options for making it a little bit easier for all of us. And I think we should start with the morning time or just start with the nutrition in general. Where When we hustle around, when our schedules are packed, when we're a little stressed out, usually our health kind of falls to the wayside, unfortunately. I like to be proactive and make sure that I've stocked a lot of nutritious snacks for the whole family to enjoy. Our family favorite is Muna Cottage Cheese. It is so good. It's not just nutritious, but it's absolutely delicious. They come in low-fat and classic plain with all real fruit pieces at the bottom in flavors like black cherry, raspberry, peach, pineapple, blueberry, strawberry, everybody's favorite. The hardest part is actually making sure I stock everybody's favorite. It has 15 to 19 grams of protein and only 9 grams of sugar. That's a big deal to a mom. And now it even has probiotics, which I love. Um, Again, it's a wonderful... And not just for me, I, I use it. I actually will have it for breakfast. So for our family, some, some of us have it for breakfast, some of us have it for a snack, and um, sometimes I even grab it for lunch. Really um, great, creamy and delicious snack in these little to-go uh, containers that make it easy to just kind of grab and walk out the door. That is really cool. And it makes it a whole lot easier for mom and dad because, you know, uh, sometimes it takes a while to get the kids out of bed. <laughs> so oh my gosh. Th- every little thing you can there? do to make your job easier, getting them uh, ready for school is, uh, is a good thing. I mean, how many times have we eaten breakfast on the, in the car or on the school bus? For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> so what are some other um, things that maybe we should be thinking about as the kids are going, you know, now kind of getting settled in for, for back to school time here? Yeah, you know what, John, I don't know how old your children are. My, my daughter's actually about to go to middle school, so um, we really started thinking about and, and, and as she gets older and kind of has this 
gains independence, I'm always trying to track down where she is. I'm more concerned about her whereabouts. So we've really given some thought to getting her a new cell phone. And um, a first cell phone is a big responsibility, so it's taking us a while, but I think we found the perfect one. It's the Alcatel 7 available on Metro PCS. I feel like it's the perfect first phone for a child. Not only does it have all of the high-end features that your child loves, like the dual camera, portrait mode, a huge, you've got to look at this thing, it's gorgeous, a huge 6-inch HD display, but it's also at a wonderful price. It's $179.99 at retail, but when you open up a new line, that drops down to, I believe, $129.99. So just a really great price for a first phone with all those high-end features. And it's got an all-day battery, which is important to me because it means that I can um, reach her whenever I want to. I just have to make sure she actually picks up my phone. Yeah. (laughs) You have to just program. When you program the phone, just put one of her friend's names in for your contact, and then they'll always answer it. It's so true. It's so true. Again, Again, back to school time. A lot of kids heading back to school, and most of them probably back by now. Uh, and and this is a time of year when our schedules change. You know, we go from that summer schedule to this back to school schedule, and things can get kind of hectic. So, again, thank you so much to Erica for some tips on on things that we can be doing to maybe get back into the swing of things. Yeah, John, and I actually have one more because you talked about the chaos and the hecticness with everything. I think it's super important to make sure that your kids are having a bit of fun. Um, and my kids, my daughter's always trying to find new ways to bond with her friends and have a good time. So we've come across the Cool Maker Kumi Creator. Um, I, I'm sure you've heard of these things called friendship bracelets. And oh, yeah. My daughter this year was super excited, yeah, to create friendship bracelets for all of her friends. And they, generally speaking, take quite a bit of time. But the Kumi Creator makes it super easy and a lot of fun. You can create a bracelet in minutes. It's got ten unique bracelet designs in six different colors so she can customize them all for all her different friends, and, and even she makes them for her different outfits every day that she, she likes to kind of pick out in ahead of time. It's a wonderful activity for an after-school hangout or even for a sleepover with some of her best friends, and that's the Kumi Creator, the Cool Maker Kumi Creator. I love this. That is awesome. Fabulous. Is there a place online where we can go to find all the things that we're talking about here? For sure. You can go to ericapetrini.com, click on my, oh, my blog. It's where my blog posts live. And then you'll find all the information we chatted about today. And I love the the blog, Be Beautiful Moms, and it's B-E and then Y-O-U to full moms. And I'm going to throw a link to make that really easy to find, but I love that. That's really cool. John, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Again, it's been another Movie Star Monday with Erica Vitrini. She's the host of Access Health on Lifetime, and she had a lot of great tips for us as well. We're going to make it really easy to find a link to her blog with all of those details, and that is in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. If you want to grow your business, you can add more customers or sell more stuff to your current customers or a combination of both. There's no other way to grow your business. Just those two. Add more customers or sell more stuff to your current customers. And if you already have a relationship with your customers and you have their email address, you can reach out to them with special offers to easily grow your sales and you'll make your customers even happier. Let the experts at Constant Contact help. Get a free trial now. Text Radio Trial to number 22828. That's Radio Trial, all one word, to number 22828. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In 1518, a dancing plague took over the town of Strasbourg, France. Oh, I've heard this. This yeah. is hilarious. And and people started dancing and, and they couldn't, couldn't stop. stop. They just collapsed after they got yeah. so worn out. Some danced for days. You know that happens in the studio here once in a while. Heidi will start tapping her toe <laughs> to one of the songs we're playing, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, she's dancing. <laughs> and then it's time to talk, and it's so hard to get her to stop. Mm-hmm. So it's not... It's not not really happening. <laughs> <laughs> not even close. I don't think anybody out there. I just wanted to make you. sure. Otherwise, they they would demand we get webcams, and it's just <laughs> not going to happen. Then I would have to, you know, dress nice. So no thanks. This has been a fun fact. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi make plans to join us for the second annual Eighties in the Sand. My wife Heidi and I went last year. It was so much fun. And guess who's going to be there this year? It's Brett Michaels. Hello everybody, it's Brett Michaels. I will see you in Eighties in the Sand Tuesday, November 6th Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. I promise you, this is going to be the ultimate concert, party, best night ever. Let's rock on, my friends. Get your tickets now at eightiesinthesand.com. Over 90% of the tickets are sold. Don't wait. Eightiesinthesand.com John and Heidi. Time now for the grandiloquent word of the day, and it is abs- absculate. 
abs mm. no absquagu <laughs> I should practice ahead of time. Absquatulate. Abscotch <laughs> I can't say it. Oh Absquatulate. Gosh. Absquatulate. What do you think that means? <laughs> I really, with as well as you pronounced it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Absquatulate. A-B-S-Q-U-A-T-U-L-A-T-E. Absquatulate is a verb. It is to leave abruptly, mm. to abscond or run off, to get out of dodge or to bug out. It is to absquatulate. There are right. times where I have to absquatulate. I had a meeting last week where... I had to bolt because I was running late for another meeting, and I felt so bad because we were in the middle of a conversation. I go, ooh, I'm going to be late. I got to go. See you later. And then I took off, and I felt so bad because I was like, that was really probably rude of me. Probably. Well, I just felt really bad. So, hey, I'm well, sorry, maybe Dave. maybe you didn't gab I for I so long. I too much. I, less yapping and less absquatulating <laughs> or something. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 800-719-5601. 800-719-5601. That's 800-719-5601. Time now for some weird news on a Monday. Police in Philadelphia at a fast food place there uh, had a report of a person throwing hot oil at a customer during an argument at the drive-thru. Oh, my gosh. Police allege that an employee threw some cooking oil through the window during a dispute with three women over an order at about 3 a.m. at a Checkers restaurant. A a 20-year-old woman was burned on the left arm and her left leg. She was taken to the hospital. She's in stable condition. Another oh, 20-year-old woman and man. a 26-year-old woman were also burned on their left arms and legs and, and one on the head. They declined treatment. 28-year-old Latifa Linder was charged with aggravated simple assault, reckless endangerment, and other related offenses. Checkers say they will cooperate with the police. Yeah. It is really sad. What in the that world happened chick there? Needs some help. Yeah, you don't do that. You don't throw anything out the window, especially not hot oil. So I don't know what happened. I'm assuming something led up to that, but whatever it was, craziness. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh for a Monday. Police say a man in North Carolina was arrested after his relatives, including four young children, mistakenly got into his brownies that were special brownies we mentioned this last week he had marijuana lace brownies 40 year old justin neal french he was taken into custody sunday after somebody called the police to report that their spouse and three children ages six and six and nine were showing signs of intoxication after eating their uncle's brownies responding officer smelled marijuana at his home Uh, he opened the door found another four-year-old was in there suffering from the same symptoms French admitted to the detectives that he baked some marijuana lace treats for personal use and was unaware that they got mixed in with the others that were being, you know, gnawed on by everybody. So, bad deal. Don't do that. Uh, we shared a little snippet of that, but I got the full story because I wanted to know yeah. more. You so. wanted, you had to know. I had to know more, Heidi. We do have some good news coming your way. We've got a lot of fun stuff to get to. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If you want to grow your business, you can add more customers or sell more stuff to your current customers or a combination of both. There's no other way to grow your business. Just those two. Add more customers or sell more stuff to your current customers. And if you already have a relationship with your customers and you have their email address, you can reach out to them with special offers to easily grow your sales and you'll make your customers even happier. Let the experts at Constant Contact help. Get a free trial now. Text Radio Trial to number 22828. That's Radio Trial, all one word, to number 22828. John and Heidi. Time now for Fake News or Florida. Heidi's favorite segment of the show, by the way. Oh, yes, it is. Is it your favorite? Which which one is your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Uh, Probably this and the, the golf course or rehab. Center. Okay. Well, these are fun for the, me. So Heidi has to guess. And there are several other categories I'd love to do, but no, you keep saying no. I won't. No. There was one uh, that we're not even going to talk about them. That's how bad they are. <laughs> um, tell me, is this a fake story or is this something that really truly happened in the great state of florida an orange county man was arrested after shooting at a woman's house because she wrote a bad review about his friend's restaurant fake news or florida what in the world fake news no it's a true story it's what you don't do that 
Give him a bad review. The guy seems to get angry pretty easily. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, it's not even his restaurant. No, this is the friend's restaurant. restaurant so <laughs> calm down, At man. At least you got to say, he's got his friends back. So. Got one star. His <laughs> friend seems to be a little unstable. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Fake News or Florida. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of Odiva. That, by the way, is the monthly subscription service just for the ladies. All the details at radiosavings.com. And I think this could be, maybe, the most amazing invention of all time. Okay, I'm kind of exaggerating a bit. But it is good news. This is really it's kind of a cool thing. Meet the world's first non-melting ice pop. Huh? Huh? What do you think what? of that, Heidi? So you ever How have an ice pop? How does that work? Well, let me explain to you. You ever have an ice pop and then you're trying to eat it, but it melts all over you yeah, instead? Uh, well, like my nephew, mm-hmm. we give him popsicles all the time and then he makes a big mess on his brand new white shorts. Bompas and Par created the world's first non-melting ice lolly. They used an, uh, uh, they adapted a recipe of picrete. It's an ultra resilient ice that was developed during World War II. And we haven't been using this for anything, apparently. English inventor Jeffrey Pike developed this material of a means of building invincible floating structures in the middle of the ocean. His recipe consists of mixing sawdust and wood pulp. Wait a minute. Are we eating this? With you- water that was eventually frozen. Due to its similarities with concrete, it was named what? picrete. It's a combination of the inventor's name and concrete. Instead of using wood pulp and sawdust for the edible, they use fruit fibers for their resilient treats. So this is, uh, you're not eating wood pulp. Okay, I was going to say, that is not... They have capacity of withstanding temperatures of 75 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 24 degrees Celsius, for an hour. So you can leave it sit out like in room temperature for an hour and it still doesn't melt. Wow. So that's kind of cool. I uh, didn't know that we needed this, but I'm really glad that we have it because I think it's going to... Where do we find these delicious, um, long-lasting Don't treats? know. I've got a link to them uh, story, and maybe they say it in there, but I will throw a link in the show notes to make it easy to find the story anyway. I don't know if they have a place to get them yet. Maybe they're still in development. Would you do a research and development on a new product like that? Sure. It tasted great. My head is really shrinking <laughs> now for some reason. My feet are gigantic. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> When I walk, I squeak, but everything else is great. <laughs> All right, time but to take my a... popsicle didn't melt. <laughs> At least that thing didn't melt. <laughs> At least I don't have that problem. <laughs> time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.